looping. This edition of Clinton Vera's Flutecast is about a little piece of technology that you can add to your setup. Uh, it goes between this microphone and uh, our recording kiosk, and it is very powerful for native flute players. It can help you practice over playing over rhythm. It can help you practice playing over harmony. It can also be great in live performances, and it can become your recording studio. So we're going to, I'll be looking down at the loop pedal on the floor here. We'll show you how that works in a little bit. I'm just going to clear that loop, and I'm going to do a very simple loop. I'm just going to play a long tone and loop it on the bottom note. You can hear that long tone playing. You'll actually hear a tick when I started recording. It's, the loop pedal is going to keep playing that back, and I'm just going to add some harmony over the top. This is just a demo of what a loop pedal does. Here we go. gear setup on this is really pretty simple. Normally you're going to have a setup where you have a microphone going through your looper and out to some house system where you've got main speakers and you can hear what's going on from those speakers. For these flute casts we route the loop pedal into uh, one of the recording kiosks that we use at workshops and uh, I've added these little earbuds uh, coming off the recording kiosk so I can hear what's going on on the loop. So I'm using a Jamman Digitech loop pedal. It might look complicated, but it's actually pretty uh, straightforward. You've got two switches, the left and the right switch. And the left switch allows you to begin a loop, to begin recording, and to end the loop. The left switch also will allow us to add an additional layer on top of our basic loop. The right switch allows you to stop a recording. It also, if you hold it down for a long time, allows you to clear the entire loop. So we'll demonstrate this with a little bit of rhythm. Now, the way I like to do this is to start with a shaker, establish a very simple rhythm, and start tapping with my left foot. Tap with your left foot. One. And those taps are going to be taps on the left loop pedal. Here we go. Tapping. I'm going to tap on the left loop pedal. Now I've established my loop, I'm going to pick up my flute and just play over the top of that. Great practice for playing over rhythm. Now I'm going to do something, I'm going to add another layer. Looking down at my loop pedal, make sure I'm on the pedal, I'm going to Click the left loop pedal button and add a harmony note. Now I've got my bass loop and the harmony, the second layer. demonstrated a couple of techniques there. We established a basic loop, we layered on top of it, and I used the stop button to do what's called a stop cut, to cut out the entire loop and let me play solo for a little bit as contrast, and I'll bring the loop back in. And it's also the way I ended that piece. Now, of course, you can establish the rhythm with any instrument, including your flute. I want to do a simple repeated pattern on the flute and uh, use that. I'm clearing the loop pedal there. Um, I'm going to use that uh, as my rhythmic underpinning for this loop. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
So that's a basic introduction to looping and loop pedals. Uh, loop pedals are great for native flute players. Uh, you can hear yourself, you can practice playing over rhythm and harmony, uh, you can use it for live performances, and it can become your uh, recording studio. You can uh, sit down with a loop pedal and uh, work with it and uh, try it again and uh, work with it again, and when you get it right, uh, when you get it the way you like it, plug your loop pedal into your computer, transfer your files, and, uh, and you've got your CD. You've got a track on your CD. Um, what we're doing here, we have the microphone going into the loop pedal into our recording kiosk. And of course, uh, we use these uh, recording kiosks. We've got four of them this year at Flute Haven. We have four recording studios, and one or two of them are going to have loop pedals on them. And uh, you can come and uh, spend some time in the recording studio and record your masterpiece. Uh, take it home and uh, burn your CD for uh, friends and family, or even produce a, a commercial recording. You can go to nativefluteschool.com. Uh, there's a link up at the top to uh, our newsletter. Uh, you can sign up for the newsletter that goes along with these flute casks. And we've also got a link to our workshop schedule. And we would love to have you uh, join us at a workshop.